Hello guys, this is Becca, and I'm here to share with you something I did for an open collab. This is a uh, Twinchies that I made. I'm participating in the open collab called Hashtag Twinchies Open Collab 24. It is hosted by Kathy over at Miss Crafty Girl 42. And if you're not familiar with Twinchies, it's just a two by two piece of square uh, paper, cardstock, whatever you want to use. You want it to be kind of thick. So uh, you just cut it in a two by two square and you decorate it any way you want to and it's called Twinchies. So, uh, Kathy is the hostess, and she wants us to make at least two Twinchies. You can make as many more as you want to, but she wants you to make at least two and upload it on Saturday with the hashtag um, Twinchies Open Collab 2024 um, and tag her. So she can see your videos and see what you do to, you know, how you, know, how you make your twinchies. So, I wanted to participate today. I had some scrap paper. Excuse me, guys. I'm so sorry. But, uh, I got some scrap paper, scrap, scrapbook paper. And it's the thick cardstock type paper. And on one side, it's white. On the other side, it's this pattern here. So, I cut me four strips out of that paper and made them into two by twos. Uh, two of them, I decorated the white side, and two of them, I decorated the pattern paper, you know, the pattern side. So, the top two here are the ones that I decorated on the white side, but as you can tell, I made them to look kind of vintage looking. So I took my piece of cardstock paper and I inked it with my um, vintage photo distressed ink. I inked around the edges. Now if you'll notice these little squares on the twinchy, I hope you're seeing that. Let me Yes, okay. The little squares on the twinchy, those are inches. Inches are inches, however you want to say them. Um, they're one by one squares that I had some scrap paper left over from doing a project. And it was not wide enough to be a two by two, but I could cut it to make a one by one. So... That's what I did. I made me several inches and decorated them, and I put them in my stash. So yesterday, uh, when I was pulling out my stuff to start crafting, I saw the inches, so I pulled them out. And I had them sitting there, and I decided to use them on my twitches. So I just took two of them and kind of turned them you know, where they're not just straight. And then I put some flower stickers um, on each side of them after I had inked up the, the white cardstock. I didn't want it so bold white because I had decorated my inches in more of a vintage looking paper. And so I didn't want my cardstock to be a, a bold white. So that's why I inked it up with the vintage photo ink. And added these three flowers. That flower was already on the inchy when I made it. But these three flowers, I added extra. And I put the date of when I made them. Right there, 118.24. So that's one of my twinches. Okay, this here was another one that I used the white side. This, I didn't just inch up, inch up, ink up the edges. I actually uh, grunged the whole part of it 
the whole white section to give it that vintage look because I was using vintage um, faux, faux photos, faux photos, false photos. <laughs> Uh, that's just ephemera and um, it, they look very vi vintage looking and then my inches that I made I put two inches and I put them straight and they fit two fit perfectly you know because they're inches and this is a two by two so two of them fit perfectly right there one has flowers on it one has a rainbow that had that says fun times and then the the ephemera of vintage photos right here and um, I put the date down at the bottom so that was the other 20 I made now this I used the pattern paper side and I inked up around the edges it was already um, kind of a vintagey looking it wasn't a bold white so um, all I did was inch up around the edges I have this sticker here that's like uh, kind of like a newspaper ad or magazine ad vintage ads but first before I did that I had some piece left from this over here uh, I'll get to that one I should have done that one next but I forgot but it was a piece of a sticker I cut off that overlapped and I cut it off and so I just stuck the sticker right there it was just a flower right here and when I inked up around the edges it made it more uh, vintage, vintage looking and not so bold white and then I put that sticker of like the sort of like a magazine ad vintage magazine ad I put that on there put the date over here to the side and that was that twenty. now this one here uh, is where I put that rose or actually I think it's kind of like a peach blossom flowers and it filled you know pretty much I mean there's some spaces that you can see the um, regular cardstock that I used but that sticker pretty much filled the whole page and and some lap the whole page the whole 20 and some lapped over and that's where I had to cut because I don't want anything lapping over because of the fact that I'm going to be storing these in uh, two by two coin pockets and so I can't have any um, anything hope you know hanging over the edges because it won't fit in my corn pockets so I put that sticker down which also had a yellow butterfly on it and then I had two more inches which I have more but two more that I used uh, that I had previously decorated and it was some card stock with some stickers that I put over it this one says you rock this one says dream big and so um, I put the date going around the edge of this white sticker, the, the sticker that has the peach blossoms on it. Uh, it kind of went up and around a little bit. And so I put my date around it right there so I could see it. And so that is my four twinches that I made for this collab today. Uh, and like I said, uh, it's Kathy at Miss Crafty Girl 42 that's hosting this collab. Um, go over and check her out and see what she's doing for the collab. I will have her link as well as the hashtag in the title. If you click on the hashtag, it would bring up all the videos that people has uh, posted and ha and put this hashtag in the title of their video that way you can see what other people are doing and get you some ideas if you don't know how to decorate one or don't you know kind of in a funk and can't think of anything you want to uh, do go watch the other videos and maybe it will give you some ideas on how to decorate yours so I hope you've enjoyed it uh, go check out Kathy and we will see you in another one. Bye-bye. <laughs>